Hello, this is our latest Gravitrax project. It's a set called the Obstacle Course. Um, it has several interesting features that are obstacles for the balls that go down. For example, there are two bridges that unfold like this and two spirals. The ball um, um, goes around like this and one cannon and a zip line and two trampolines. Oh, and this one also, uh, this is called, called the transfer. transfer. The ball goes from there and hits the stands and goes into the uh, spiral. And the idea is that they will all, all the balls will end up here, which is the uh, final destination. Uh, it doesn't happen at the same time. There is a switch here. Um, we can make a selection whether the ball goes to this bridge and then spiral and cannon, or it can go the other way to the second bridge, to trampolines and to the finish. The whole thing is pretty sensitive to the small height changes. Um, we were building another set before and the, especially the angle of bounce of the trampolines is sensitive to the differences in the level between this side of our coffee table and that side. So we had to be careful about that too. So now, yeah, that <laughs> one thing that teaches you also is to kind of check the things before starting because there are so many sequential details that everything needs to be uh, set correctly, otherwise it just breaks down. But that's, that's the name of this game. So not everything works from the first time. And the zip line, which is the trickiest thing, it keeps falling off. Let's try this one now. Hey, that worked. Okay, and now just for the sake of completeness, uh, now that this branch has worked, so I'm going to reset that. But what's going to happen is that this ball, the trigger ball will go here, unroll this bridge, go through the spiral into the cannon. And the, the cannon is just a magnet. It has um, two balls on the downstream side and one and nothing upstream. So when the trigger ball comes close to the magnet, it's going to get accelerated, will hit the magnet and the red ball has less force holding it to the magnet than this one. So it's going to get pushed up this ramp and then to the finish. See if it works again. Hey, that's a success. Um, we built this um, just following the instructions straight out of the box. Uh, it, uh, it's an interesting thing. It's the most complicated that we've built so far. But our next plan is to use the Gravitrax app um, on an iPad to build a virtual set, test it virtually, make sure that it works, and then uh, try to implement it in reality. So that would be our next project. Yeah. All right. Thanks See for you. listening. See you later.